Yeah, hi there. This is uh, TuxOcho.com. Welcome on my video channel. Uh, in today's little video, I want to uh, talk about a little bit about uh, saving your images from your Windows and or Linux installation you have on your PC and the, the tool I used for this one. In the past, I used CloneZilla for this one, but locally storing those images on a local USB drive and I was happy with it because you always run into the situation you uh, try a new tool, a new software or play around in the Windows setting and then all of a sudden the whole system doesn't work anymore and then you're glad you have a base installation or an image where you can play your installation back to the hard drive in your uh, system. But uh, because I have here the desktop PC and here the uh, desk uh, mini and other uh, systems, I switched to uh, saving those or storing those images directly on a server. And therefore, of course, you need a connection either via Samba or via NFS. And let's take a look on how to do those images on a NFS share on my server. Okay, we booted our desktop PC and now we want to start from the uh, USB flash drive, like so. And here we got our Ventoid tool, which I already introduced to you in another blog article. And here I got installed the different ISO images with different tools I need, uh, yeah, on a regular base. And here, we've, of course, we find CloneZilla, which meanwhile I use yeah, a little bit over 10 years to generate images from my local installations. We boot that. Okay, first we choose the language. Stick to English, of course. We don't want to change the uh, keyboard layout. And now we could start CloneZilla, of course. And the first choice we have either if we want to save a device to an image or if you want to save a device to another device i usually work with a device to image okay and here we can choose either a local device where we can uh, store the images on that could be either another portion on the uh, local uh, pc which we want to save the images from or an external usb drive which you have plugged in or in this case, what we want to do either a Samba server or an NFS share. And we want to choose the NFS share because I configured my Open Media Vault server with an NFS share. First, we have to configure the uh, network device, of course. Do that uh, with the DHCP protocol to get the IP address. Then we choose the NFS version, I'll stick to the default. And then of course we have to get the IP address of the NFS server. And now we have to type in the uh, name of the NFS share. Okay, now you can see that the uh, CloneZilla tool is uh, connected here with the uh, server with the end IP address of uh, 2 and that here on the uh, server 4.6 terabyte are uh, available space. Okay, we press enter, choose beginner mode and now we have the uh, choice either taking an image from a complete uh, disk or from different portions. I choose regularly the portions you may see now why and then we have to name the uh, folder where the images are stored in now the tool is uh, extracting or getting the portion info so we can shoot the portions to save like this one here First we choose that one, that's the extended 4 partition from a Linux installation. 
and then we have here the uh, power fat portions of the windows 10 installation and of course windows 10 itself in the uh, 278 gigabyte partition partition on sdb okay choose that one then we choose the compression of course i stick with the default values here you can choose if you want to check the uh, portions first be before they are stored into an image i usually skip that one now that's an important choice i think you should do that and that is checking the image after the image is uh, uh, stored it, just to find out if the Im image later on is restorable that uh, doubles the time the tool needs for generating those images but uh, it's my advice to check this one so you could be sure that your images are safe now we can choose if you want uh, to encrypt the image on a local storage or a local uh, usb drive and here on the local net i think that is uh, not necessary but uh, if you want to store your images uh, somewhere else it might be a good advice to encrypt those images so nobody else can read the uh, content of the images we just press ok and the last one we have to do is to choose if you want to what we want to do after the images are stored i usually choose reboot okay getting out here at this because that takes a while to generate those images so we stop the uh, recording as you could see it's pretty easy to mount the system and on a export you done on the server via nfs kernel you have to install that module of course or you could do it with the samba uh, share i tried that that's almost the same procedure and you just uh, select the server via the ip address and of course the share or the name of the share so you can mount it and then that the images are stored directly onto the servers even though those uh, images are zipped or gzipped in this uh, case you don't have you save a lot of space but you must consider that uh, with a windows installation of 80 or 100 gigabyte you still have images uh, of 80 90 gigabytes and so on and you have to take care about saving your uefi partition and the uh, other partition which windows already installs during the installation process and as you could see in the sample i saved those three partitions and additionally a linux partition with this uh, formatted with extended for file system in one process all four and that's there is to it in the past even though i used to use uh, local usb drive i never was disappointed from a clone seller i always made it to restore my windows system or other installations only in one case where clone seller failed and that was when i had a partition that was uh, smaller than the original portion i took the image with and that did some problems i couldn't repair that so i decided to install windows as a clean install again on this system but so far clonezilla did a very good job okay there is a, a similar tool on my ventoy stick as you could see and that is rescue Zilla. that's almost with the same features i tried it a couple of times but uh, then i had problems that rescue Zilla says it couldn't uh, save those images especially from a windows 10 installation because it was uh, saying or keep saying there was an error because windows 10 was not shut down cleanly and that was not true so 
I'll stick with Clonezilla, but maybe you get a better way with the Rescuezilla tool. Okay, that was my little review on Clonezilla and uh, storing images directly to a server. And uh, if you have any questions to this, you might well as well place them in the comments to this video or in the comments of the uh, corresponding uh, blog post. And uh, if this video was a little bit helpful to you, you might think about placing a like on the video. And I surely would appreciate it if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little review on Clonezilla and storing images on a server. And all I have to say is, till the next time, ciao, tux auch.